With so many film productions already under Albuquerque's belt, a well-deserved recognition may be coming our way. Yeah, the city's film office is one of five nominees up for an award recognizing cities with the best locations for making TV shows and movies. Our David Romero has more. Many film and TV productions have called Albuquerque home over the years. The city is now getting some recognition for all that hard work. But when you look at um, the percentage of the crew uh, on Breaking Bad, it was 90% in plain sight, 90% killer women. All, there's jobs for local citizens. And Albuquerque is known as being very film friendly. For example, we're right here on the plaza where Breaking Bad used it for two days, controlled the area, and they filmed a famous scene there. It's because of shows like Breaking Bad and films like Lone Survivor that the Location Managers Guild of America has nominated Albuquerque as a city that, quote, rises above and beyond the call of duty when it comes to film production. This recognition is also helping to place Albuquerque on an international scale. It brings more attention to the city of Albuquerque. I maintain that people around the world now can even spell Albuquerque. It's huge for the city and for New Mexico. It's really great. This type of recognition has been a long time in coming, with productions in New Mexico dating back to the late 1800s. The first film was in 1898 by the Edison Company called Isleta School Day down at the, I mean, it was called School Day down at the Isleta Pueblo. So since 2003 and the incentives were in place, we've had a ton of filming. We've gotten a lot of attention from Breaking Bad, but we've also had a number of other films and TV shows that have shot here that have brought a lot of money and jobs into our city. Bringing jobs and pride to the Duke City. David Romero, Tucasa This Morning.